Getting fuel into your body quickly after racing or training is essential. You might have heard of that 20 minute window when your body can really do with absorbing some great nutrients. Well, having a drink is the best way to do this because it's easy to digest when maybe you're not feeling quite so hungry after a hard session or a hard race. So today, I'm going to be making two different smoothie recovery recipes. Well, for both of these recovery drink recipes, you're going to need some sort of blender like this and some ice cubes. And then they are going to be two quite separate recipes. The first one is going to be dairy based and the second one will be dairy free. So let's get started. Ideally, you want to have nice ripe bananas. We're going to use one banana in this smoothie recipe. So it is designed for one person. Obviously, you can just double the ingredients if you're making it for a friend as well. Ripe is always a little bit sweeter and easier to blend. Now we're gonna add in, using frozen fruit for this one. And the best thing about frozen fruit, is you know that it will have been frozen when it was fresh. So the nutrients are still gonna be really high. So add in a couple of spoonfuls of frozen berries. I do love some berries in a smoothie because they're full of antioxidants and help with the anti-inflammatory process. So when you have done a hard session, really important to help your body recover. Now it's time to add in a little bit of dairy and I've actually got some Greek yogurt here, which is extra creamy. Yes, it is high in fat, but it's also high in calcium. So it's the right type of fat. It will be slower releasing. I'm gonna get a nice big spoonful of this. And then I'm just gonna add in milk for the liquid. Obviously you can use whatever type of milk you like, but I'm using dairy milk today. Then I'm going to blend it up and I'll add the ice cubes in later just to see what consistency I want it and whether to make it a little bit thicker or not. The reason I've gone for a lot of dairy in this one, it's high in calcium and lots of essential vitamins, so really good for recovery. This is a great drink to use after training or after racing. The great thing about a smoothie recovery drink is you can have it straight after your training. So if you've already made this, you've got it in your bag, as soon as you've finished your warm down, you can actually start to recover, so before you even get changed after your session. But with that in mind, so remember, because you're having it as a drink, yes, it's really convenient, but it does mean that you're not having to chew anything, so your mind will take a little bit longer to realise that you're full. Because if, for example, you sat down and you ate a banana, you ate this amount of fruit and yoghurt, you're going to feel full pretty quickly. So if you're trying to reduce your calories or you're trying to lose a little bit of weight, then bear this in mind and have a gap before you go to eat anything else just to make sure that your body has had time to digest this. And on that note, fruit is naturally high in calories. And yes, you get a lot of other great nutrients from your fruit, especially antioxidants that I mentioned earlier. But do remember to keep a cap on the sugar levels. And then it depends what time of day you want your smoothie for. If say you're gonna use it as a breakfast replacement, so you're in a hurry and you can be drinking that on your way to work, you can add in some oats, will help make it a longer lasting fuel. This one, we've got a completely new set of ingredients and we're staying away from dairy, so I've actually chosen almond milk, but you can use any other milk alternative. Now we're using some flax seeds, also known as linseed, depending where you're from, um, some raw cacao powder, some almond butter. The honey's probably not needed, but if you do have a very sweet tooth, you can add that in. A little bit of ground cinnamon going to be needed. And this is a little bit different, and this recipe is inspired from my trip to the Middle East recently. Got some dates to add in, just to add that sweetness. Now, I know I'm guilty of basically all of my smoothies or recovery drinks having bananas in, but some people aren't a fan of bananas. So for this recipe, we're leaving them out, but we are going to use some ice cubes to just help thicken it out as well. This recovery smoothie doesn't have any berries in, but it's still pretty naughty and high in calories. And starting with the dates. Then don't forget to take the stones out when you are using these. And again, it's a little bit of an experiment, depending on how much you want and how sweet you want it, but make sure you get it the right way around. Okay, I think three is probably enough for now. Now we're gonna have a spoonful of almond butter. Great for your protein and your good fats. With this one, a nice generous spoonful. This is pretty much a meal in itself, to be honest, this recovery drink. So if you know you're not gonna be having your lunch for a little while, then this would be great. Okay, we are now going for almond milk. But like I said, any type of milk that you prefer. A good dash of that. Now the rest, 
kind of to flavor, to texture. I'm using linseeds or flax seeds because they're great for protein, iron, magnesium, all the things that you need well, after training and you know, during your um, heavy periods of work. So I might use a spoon for this so I don't end up with too much, but a couple of heaped teaspoons or dessert spoonfuls in there. And of course, if it's gonna be a naughty smoothie, you might as well add a little bit of raw cacao. Why not? Just gonna go with one spoonful for now and I might taste it just to see how chocolatey that comes out. And I am gonna also add in a pinch of ground cinnamon just to give it that slightly unique flavor. Okay. Like I said, no bananas, which for me is quite unusual, but we've got a lot of really lovely ingredients. And I am just gonna add in a few ice cubes already. So obviously you haven't got the banana that thickens it and ice cubes, if you have it while still cold, We'll give it a slightly thicker texture, naturally, without adding any more calories. So let's see how this comes up. Well, this second recipe is actually quite a new one to me. I hadn't thought of putting dates in a smoothie before. It wasn't until I went to the Middle East, but a really nice addition, and it really does make it quite sweet, but also a little bit naughty. So if you are, say, still hungry after your main meal, it could be a great dessert option because it just tops up the protein to help your body recover overnight, especially if you're doing really high mileage. Or if you eat early, say at six o'clock, and you're not going to bed until 10, 11 o'clock, you just need something else to top up those energy levels and make sure you're ready for your morning session, then a smoothie like this one could be perfect. The only thing is, these are recovery drinks. I actually haven't done any training yet today but anyway I'm still gonna drink this one never mind hopefully you've enjoyed this give us a thumbs up like especially if you like the look of these smoothies and remember to hit the globe to subscribe to make sure you get all of our videos here at GTN and if you are getting into the baking mode but you don't have an oven we've made some raw food energy balls and you can find a recipe for that perfect bike fuel just here 